Hey guys, it's Issa. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are returning. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my MSM and rice water challenge. So with my MSM and rice water challenge, I did it for about seven days. Now, I'm the type of person where I hate, and when I say hate, I mean hate. When people come on here with the challenge and no results. So luckily for you guys, like I have the challenge and the results in one video. I came across MSM by watching Curly Proverbs videos. If any of you guys know her, then you know that she's really into Ayurveda and really into using herbs, you know, Indian herbs for growing your hair. And I have really gotten into mixing powders and herbs for my hair as well as drinking MSM. And I will get into that in another video because this video is specifically about my hair challenge. But many of you guys know that two years ago, I had a tragic moment where I went to the hairdresser, got my hair done, got that Dominican blowout. It was more than a blowout because it blew my hair out, <laughs> okay? And my hair basically did not revert back. And I feel like they may have chemically processed it. And this is something that I have previously warned a lot of my followers about. And it happened to me. So even people who warn other people can be a victim of situations. But anywho... I'm here to give you guys the results of my MSM challenge. And you guys are going to see what my hair looks like in the beginning, but I was able to say that my hair grew pretty much an inch in about four to five days. And I was actually really surprised because I was not consistent the last two days due to the fact that, you know, I wasn't so at home. Today so. I am going to be doing the rice water challenge. So this is what my hair is looking like. Looks a little crazy, right? Whew. So I'm gonna pour it into my spray bottle. Here's my rice water. Then I'm going to get my MSM powder. It looks just like this, like little crystals. All right, I'm gonna just pour that in there. Oops, I think about three scoops should be enough. My essential oils. I got peppermint oil. I got rosemary. And I got here orange, which I can't really see because it's kind of faded. So. The orange doesn't really do anything. I just feel like it gives it a citrusy smell, so it kills the, the smell. Okay. But the rosemary and the peppermint give it that, you know, hair growth sensation. So I'm gonna just go ahead and add a little bit more peppermint. All right. And we're gonna shake it up. Make sure it's nice and tight. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tighten it up first. Okay. Gonna go ahead and massage that. We can't waste it. Just wanted to show y'all my front part, my bangs. And this is how long they are. Right about here, I'll take my pen. All right. 
All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do this quick. I'm not gonna have a lot of time to show you guys, but I'm gonna just spray my scalp with my MSM and rice water. Obviously spray the corners of my hair. And I'm probably not gonna be able to show y'all everything, but y'all get the gist of it. And this is day three of me doing this. We'll spray this in the back. Spray this on the bottom. Just like so. Let's spray it. I really want to focus on this front area because I want my hair on the sides, like right here, especially to catch up with everything else. So, which it is pretty quickly because I did cut this front area like right here on the bottom when I did my big chop, but it seems to be going back pretty quickly. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I know that today is Tuesday okay and I started on Friday so y'all do the math um and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair so I did do this last night I did not record me spraying my hair last night but as y'all can see my hair is very much so giving matted vibes because I didn't moisturize and seal my hair because I was lazy. So I'm about to moisturize and seal today. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know. So I'm gonna spray my hair right now and then I'm gonna moisturize and seal. But I'm not gonna do that on camera because I have other videos on how to moisturize. And there are plenty of moisturization videos on YouTube. like this <laughs> probably a bad background okay so I'm about to go ahead and do measurements real quick because I gotta go out and I want to see if my hair has grown any which was a really bad idea for me to spray it last night but um Let's see if it grew any. So this is where I marked it. And you're just gonna brush it out so we can get the full length. And I'm going easy because I had gel in my hair so I don't want to, uh, you know, affect anything, but 
It was here before. Oh, wow. Y'all see that? Well. Oh, no way. No freaking way. Yes. Okay, well, let's mark. I can't exactly see where my last measurement was, but it The routine that I had was that I would spray my scalp with rice water. I did not put rice water on the rest of my hair. Even though rice water doesn't really affect my hair, I mainly applied rice water to my scalp like this. And um, I would just go ahead and spray in between. And my hair would be massaged with rosemary essential oil and peppermint oil those have been my go-to oils that I really really like as of right now I really it's my go-to I used to use peppermint and lavender but I feel like peppermint and rosemary just work a lot better I have noticed a difference in my edges like my edges have really filled in I don't know if you guys can tell Honestly, I didn't even know that my edges had a problem. <laughs> I'm actually really, really, really shocked. Um, I would attribute the edges problems to my previous hair scandal. That's what we're going to call it. But anywho, so I have my handy dandy rice water here. And, you know, y'all can see I've been using rice water for more than a month now but I specifically did the challenge so you guys can see how the rice water and MSM responded to my hair and I have had MSM over I would say a month now like I said and I have not started ingesting the MSN until literally yesterday so we're gonna talk about ingesting MSN in another video because I really don't want to give you guys information that I am not too knowledgeable on and haven't ex this is the MSN powder that I have used on my hair and I've just literally been mixing the MSM with my oils and I have been mixing the MSM with my sprays. So this is not the only spray that I have for my MSM. I also have another spray with all my herbs in it, which I will talk about in another video because it's not really relevant to this challenge, but I'm just bringing it up so you guys know that my oil does contain MSM and my tea, not even rinses, my tea that I put in my hair also has MSM in the products. So basically during this challenge, I just made sure that I kept my hair moisturized and I kept my hair pretty much in flat twist like this. Unless I was going out, then I would take my flat twist out about twice a week and I also wore a wash and go. Um, the other thing that I wanted to go ahead and mention was my fermenting of rice water. I keep rice water fermenting and apparently the Yao women actually left their rice water fermenting for months 
for a month or so I left this water fermenting it's been a while it's been fermenting for about two to three weeks I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one